a cannon capable of destroying a city with a single shot, and it was actually built. This is the M65, America's Atomic Annie. In the early 1950s, the U.S. created artillery capable of firing nuclear shells before tactical missiles even existed. May 25, 1953, Nevada, Frenchman's Flat Test Site. During Operation Upshot Knothole Grable, the M65 fired a real nuclear shell. The warhead, about 15 kilotons, exploded at an altitude of 160 meters, the first and only nuclear artillery shot in human history. But behind the spectacle was uselessness. The system weighed nearly 80 tons, required two tractors, and took a long time to deploy. Camouflaging such a machine was impossible. It became an easy target. Despite its uniqueness, the M65 never saw widespread use. Within a few years, it was replaced by mobile missile systems, simpler and deadlier. Atomic Annie remained in history as a symbol of giant ambition and fear of the future. But the USSR didn't stay behind. They built their own colossus, the self-propelled mortar 2B1 Oka. Soviet engineers couldn't let the Americans stay ahead. In 1955, work began on the Oka, the Soviet answer to Atomic Annie, even more powerful and imposing. Its caliber, 420 millimeters. A single shot fired a projectile weighing nearly 700 kilograms, capable of carrying a nuclear warhead up to 15 kilotons its firing range up to 45 kilometers. The Oka was a true monster, nearly 55 tons of steel, 20 meters long, and with such recoil that the vehicle jumped backward after firing. Only a few were built, a symbol of Cold War power and fear. The M65 Atomic Annie and 2B1 Oka, two sides of the same era,